Hi, my name is Kent Lee. I'm a teacher at Luther College in Decorah, Iowa, and I am going to show you how to install Python on your computer today and the Wing IDE so that you can get started doing some Python programming. Python is a programming language that's fun to use and uh, you can do quite a bit with it pretty quickly. So to begin, we're going to go to um, uh, your favorite web browser and we're going to go and find Python. You want to go to python.org to get things started and you want to look for the download link. And under the download link you want to get the very latest version of Python, in our case Python 3.2. Uh, we're installing on Windows so we're going to look for the Windows installer. You could either get the 64-bit or the 32-bit installer. I'm going to get the 32-bit one. Click Save File. It'll begin downloading. I've actually already downloaded it, so I'm just going to stop that and go and find uh, my version. I'll do Open Containing Folder. I'm just going to pull that out to the desktop, so I've got it right there. And I'll go ahead and double click on that to go ahead and get it installed. So python.org is a trusted place. Um, install for all users is fine. Python 3.2 is fine. We'll just click Next. And we'll wait for it to uh, finish installing on our system. And then we can go ahead and click Finished. Okay, so we've got Python installed then. Um, we also want to install an IDE. An IDE is an integrated development environment, which makes it easier for writing programs. We're going to go to wingware.com. Wingware is a is a maker of one IDE that you can use for Python development. There are other IDEs out there as well, but I recommend uh, Wingware, uh, the Wing IDE. So if you go to the download link, you can get version 4, the latest version. And the version that you want to download is Wing IDE 101. This version is the free version for students. Um, the professional version does cost some money to, uh, to use um, past the trial period. Um, the free version does just about as much as the professional version does, so um, you should download the, the free version for students. Look through the list here to find your version that you want. We want the Windows version, so click that, click Save File, it'll go ahead and download. Again, I've already downloaded it, so I am not going to, uh, to wait for that right now. I've got it right here, and I'm going to open the containing folder and there it is there and I'm just gonna pull that out to the desktop as well and then I'll go ahead and double click on it to get it installed again we should be able to do all of the defaults to get it installed except next 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 and install Once it's finished installing, we have just a little bit more work to do to get everything working. So click Finish and it's launched. Click Accept. It's non-commercial use only. And we want to see that we've got Python 3.2 running. If, if it says that Python 3.2 is running in the Python shell, everything is ready to go. And you're all set to begin writing programs. If it doesn't say Python 3.2, you can go to edit and do configure Python and you can pick custom and browse and then what you want to do is go to your computer to your C drive and if you find Python 3.2 under there and then you should be able to find Python within that Python 3.2 directory there it is right there click open 
and OK. And you will have, and then if you go to Options and Restart Shell, you should see that Python 3.2 is running. If it was already running, you don't need to do those last steps. But if it wasn't running, then, uh, then you want to go ahead and make sure that you get the right version uh, running there um, for yourself, in this case, Python 3.2. So that's it. Once you've done this, you've got uh, Wing installed, and you've got uh, Python installed, and you're ready to write your first program, which I will start to talk about in the next video.